Cost Value Reconciliation, or CVR for short, is a tool used during a construction project. Typically carried out once a month, this task fulfills the purpose of determining the profitability of a project throughout its life cycle. In this video we will explore CVRs in more detail. Before we begin, if you enjoy these videos, be sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get alerts when we upload new content. The CVR measures cost against value at different stages of the project. They are a vital tool to ensure projects are completed within budget, ensuring unnecessary losses aren't overlooked. To understand CVRs, we need to understand the difference between cost and value. Cost is the expense incurred on a construction project, and value is the revenue incurred on a project. The CVR acts as a balance sheet. If the value is higher than the cost, then the project is in profit. If the cost is higher than the value, then the project is at a loss. Determining the cost of a project will require not only an understanding of the cost to date, but also what the final cost position for the project will be. This will need to take into consideration any known issues or scope changes. It's also likely that a contingency will be included within the cost to allow for any unexpected problems which may arise. As the project progresses, you'll have more known cost and less forecasted cost. This means the predicted final cost position becomes more accurate as the project progresses. It's vital that the cost is not underestimated. Similarly to the cost, the value will include both value of work done today and the final value position. There are two types of valuations, external valuation and internal valuation. The external valuation is the application for payment to the client, and an internal valuation is used for CVRs. It's likely that within the external valuation, there will be some value which the contractor is aware may be disputed by the client. This uncertain value is therefore not included within the internal valuation. This ensures the internal valuation, which feeds into the CVR, is not overestimated. As you'll have noticed from previous statements, it's important cost is not underestimated and value is not overestimated. This means a prudent approach has been applied to the CVR. The reason this approach is used is because it's better to have an unexpected financial gain than it is to have an unexpected financial loss. The prudence concept ensures the likelihood of the latter is decreased. The CVR does more than just highlight the profitability of a project. It also acts as a tool to assess any known issues within a project, which may need highlighting to the other project stakeholders. Addressing these issues early can change the financial direction of a project. This is why it is absolutely vital that the CVR is transparent and authentic. Any attempts to cover up issues in order to make the project seem to be in a better position than it is can have devastating consequences. It's through highlighting issues within the CVR process the issues are resolved and lessons are learned. As a quantity surveying business, we wanted to provide a tool to bring together a community of QSs, a place where you can ask each other questions, share experiences and make friends. We're happy to announce the first and so far only dedicated forum for quantity surveyors. And to make it even better, it's totally free. All you need to do is visit our website, click on the quantity surveyor forum and start chatting with like-minded individuals. Matrone a commercial hub to your business.